Hello everyone, welcome to, welcome back to my channel. It's hot mess dawn day. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that I was going to get this package today, but since I did, I just threw on some makeup to look a little less scary and I wanted to come in and film this. It's a true unboxing, so I wanted you to see my reaction when I see this bag, but if you saw the title, you'll know we did it again. <laughs> Jackie and I traded bags. So after you watch my video, head on over to Jackie's channel. That's Jack's Bag Attack. And see what I traded to get what's in this box, which I've seen in pictures and of course haven't seen in person. So if you don't know Jackie, Jackie has a huge extensive bag collection. She also knows a whole lot about bags, about brands, about different leathers, about all kinds of things related to the luxury companies. So give her channel a look and give her a subscribe because you'll be really, really glad that you did. If you want to know pretty much anything about Dooney and Burke, she is your person. She has a lot of Dooney knowledge and Disney knowledge. So anyway, because she has such a huge collection, a lot of times... She'll have bags that she's not using or doesn't want to use or for whatever reason, they just don't fit her. And instead of selling the bag, she'll offer it up for trade. So she actually had contacted Winnie about this trade and I found out about it because Winnie wasn't interested in trading any of her things right now. So I messaged Jackie and I said, Jack, I said, I'll trade with you. So I thought about it and thought about it and looked through my closet and we struck a deal and here it is. So this is a big box, as you can see. And I know a lot of people really like when I filmed in my other room and I did my little shelf with the bags, but this box is a little bit too big and I don't want to have all of the packaging everywhere. And I really didn't want to have a situation where I'm dropping this bag as I walk up the stairs. So, it's going to take a million passes with this ceramic knife. I'm just the worst when it comes to packages. What can I say? I don't wrap good either. But, I mean, I wrap, but I don't wrap fancy. It's just not a skill that I have. All right, I think I cut open all of the tape. Yes, I did. And I can't see any addresses. So I have the box open. And let's check and see inside. That's what it looks like. There's lots of tissue paper and air paper. And lots more air paper, which I will gladly recycle. <clears throat> and then here we have a bag. So it's in this plastic packaging. And I really wanted to do this now because it's trash day tomorrow. And recycle day, so I'll be able to put out my box. So, take this off. Jackie packed this really, really well. I pack well. I just, I'm just not neat with tape and stuff. What could I say? All right, so here goes. We're going to look at it together. Can you see what it is? Ooh. It is the Louis Vuitton Trevi. So oh, I have the chills. I love it. So it's actually the same on both sides, front and back, except the front is where it's stamped Louis Vuitton. So I'm taking a look at this for the first time, same as you guys. And I'm looking, this has gorgeous, gorgeous honey patina, which is what I love. The chain and the medallion are both in excellent shape. Look at that. Nice and bright and shiny. The buckles, front and back, 
the hardware is really beautiful. And sometimes with these older bags, you get verdigris, but I don't see any. Verdigris is when it starts to get a little bit green and black and just weird colors. Look at that. So inside should be the handles, which buckle on here because they're adjustable. And yes, they certainly are. Oh, oh. Well, did I get something on it? Yeah, I think the back of this strap touched my lip gloss. Or maybe it's the front. Oh, well, not a big deal. I'm going to just kind of get this and rub it in a little bit. And actually, probably, the, oh, and you know what? It is the back. It's the back because this is the front. So not a big deal. <clears throat> I'm going to just set these down aside for a second. Continue to unstuff. Okay. So inside, this is just immaculate. Look at this. Hopefully you can see how clean this bag is inside. And I want to say that this is from 2013. So it's a rather new version of the Trevi. And I know the Trevi was out for quite a few years. So it says Louis Vuitton made in France. And it has the old cell phone pocket here, which I use to put my nasal spray in. Not going to lie. And then there's another slip pocket here. And then there's another slip pocket on this wall. It doesn't go the whole length of the bag, but it's plenty big enough if you wanted to put card holders, tissues, all that stuff in that pocket. So there's a tiny little bit of wear on the piping, if you could see that. <clears throat> tiny little bit of wear on the piping here on this corner. That doesn't bother me at all. Actually, there's a little bit of corner wear on all four corners, but it's really not noticeable. What sometimes happens with these bags, from what I've seen, because it happens with this and Oh God, I'm not thinking about what the other style is. Um, oh, it's the other pretty style with the pleats. The pleats will get a little bit warped and it's hard to, <clears throat> excuse me, to get it back into shape. But this bag actually is in really, really good shape. And the other thing is the straps have a mark from where the buckle was. And Jackie had it adjusted differently. So you were able to see, you know, this little line here where the brass went into the buckle, but I'm just going to adjust it to that same level. And then it's not going to be at all noticeable. And I think that that's going to be a good strap length for me too, because this is a good bag that you could carry handheld or over your shoulder because the straps are completely adjustable. And for a bigger bag, it's really, really lightweight. So I love that. So I'm having a little bit of hard time getting this buckle in. That is my own problem. It's not the bag, there it goes. So I have the straps in on one side and I'm gonna attach the straps on the other side. I guess this would be a good bag if you really wanted to, you could store the strap separately, but I actually am gonna be good with where the adjustment is. And the straps have softened some because this bag was used and it was broken in nicely. So they're not extremely, extremely stiff. They still have shape though. <clears throat> so, you know, this one here goes. The one strap looked like it was adjusted at a different spot, but no, I think that this is 
<clears throat> this is just how it should be. So here we go with both straps attached. And I'm just gonna move back a little tiny bit. So of course, when this is stuff, the pleat puffs out a little bit, but on some of these bags, it's just folded and smushed up so much that the whole bag loses its shape. And I love the bottom, how it has this X stitching. So let's see how it goes over the shoulder. Obviously, this is not a crossbody bag, nor will it ever be a crossbody bag. So it's just a really perfect drop. Look at that. I think this is going to be a fabulous work bag. Sorry to make anyone dizzy. And that's what it looks like over the shoulder. And of course, you could do crook of the arm. I don't think that I'm back far enough, but crook of the arm and of course, handheld. But for me, handheld, it's almost on the ground. So this is definitely going to be one that if you want to wear it handheld, you'd have to adjust the straps all the way down. But I think this is so pretty. These chaps here remind me of little flowers and it reminds me of the flowers on the monogram print. I really love it. So the canvas itself is in excellent, excellent condition. This is just a gorgeous, gorgeous patina. And this is a bag that I've wanted for a long time. Let me show you the tops of the handles. They're really, really clean looking. They feel fantastic. But anyway, I've always liked this style. I like this style. Sorry for my umbrella in the background. I like this style and um, the other style that I'm drawing a blank for. Tivoli? Trevi? Trevi. This is the Tivoli or, or Tivoli, I believe is the way it's called, the, the Trevi. I think the Trevi is gorgeous too. So I would like to add a Trevi, maybe a Trevi PM one day, but this is so, so pretty. Autumn has one I've always loved, hers. <clears throat> Excuse me, quite a few people have these. And a lot of times when you see these pre-loved, they're a little bit beat up because people wear these and love them and really kind of love them to death. But Whoever owned this bag didn't use it so much so that it's still really in beautiful condition. Now, I think with a bag like this, of course, you can add a pretty bag charm, but it's got so much decoration on it already that I probably will leave it plain. Maybe just add a twilly if I really feel like doing something a little wild. And when you need a big bag, I mean, this is going to hold a ton of stuff. So when I take this to the office one day, I'll do a what fits in my bag video. So you could see actually what fits. And these are still popular with people who love Louis Vuitton because I've seen people unbox these pretty recently. Butter like a zipper. And you can feel that it's a strong zipper. But yeah, I've seen unboxings on this bag pretty recently. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a style that comes back, you know, in some kind of refurbished way because it was so popular and it was around for a while. And I just absolutely love it. And guys, this was from the Marc Jacobs era. And the Marc Jacobs era was my personal and is my personal favorite era for Louis Vuitton. I love the styles that came out that time in the 2000s, um, early 2010s when Marc Jacobs was still creative director. I think that his designs were the absolute best and I really enjoy adding bags from that era to my collection. So head on over to Jackie. I am pleased as punch to have this beauty in my collection and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll know when I post my next exciting video, whether it's an unboxing or a review or some other kind of fun thing, you're not going to want to miss it. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.